hi guys so in this lecture we'll be uh, studying about the symmetry in uh, compounds so let me write the heading first we have symmetry and we have we'll be discussing four types of symmetry in compounds which will be broadly uh, plane of symmetry Second would be center of symmetry. Third would be axis of symmetry. And finally, fourth would be uh, alternate axis of symmetry. okay so let us let us go into delve into the definition of uh, plane of symmetry so definition is it is a plane which cuts the molecular compound into two equal halves and in which one half is mirror image of another half simple so first point is it is a plane which cuts the molecular compound into two equal halves and in which one half is the mirror image of another half B point is uh, symmetrical compounds have superimposable mirror image. Symmetrical compounds have superimposable mirror image. Okay. The third point is uh, uh, mesos are optically inactive due to internal compensation. So we'll look into what are called meso compounds. But for now, for the sake of documentation, uh, please be patient with me. So meso are optically inactive. due to internal compensation okay and what is internal compensation it means that the symmetry is found within the compound so that's why it's called it's termed as internal compensation so meso compounds are nothing but Meso, you can just remember them as uh, chiral compounds having chiral center and symmetry. So such type of compounds are meso compounds. okay so let us let us uh, draw some examples of the compounds we have co2h co2h attached over here uh, oh oh and h and h okay so the mirror image of this compound would be possibly uh, this again CO2H, OH, H and finally CO2H okay so 
can you see that the mirror image of this compound is also identical with the this image how because of if in this plane only if you rotate this compound with 180 degree using this perpendicular with this perpendicular axis in the same plane if you rotate it it is clearly superimposable to this first image hence this is identical to the first image okay hence and in this compound as well i can you can you can see that this is the plane of symmetry you go up, up above from this plane or below the from this plane you get the same uh, structure of the compound hence in this structure there is a plane of symmetry pos i wrote the short form for plane of symmetry okay it is obviously a chiral uh, i hope you know that uh, by the definition of a chiral that we understood we, we i wrote in the uh, previous uh, lecture that a chiral compounds are uh, symmetrical compounds so it is a chiral it is optically active or inactive optically inactive because for being optically active you have to be chiral and you should not have plane of symmetry okay it is optically inactive and it is a meso compound as well because it is having chiral centers and a plane of symmetry as well or symmetry as well so it is a meso compound okay and why it is a meso compound because it is having chiral center uh, symmetry and uh, it is optically inactive due to internal compensation also okay so let's look at some more examples so we have something like this uh, this hcl hcl so you can readily clearly see with some imagination that it is a which compound it is a it is having plane of symmetry this is the plane of symmetry so it is having plane of symmetry and it is a meso compound as well by symmetry plus chiral center okay let's look into the third example where we have cyclohexane substituted with two groups uh, coming out of the plane so here you can see that uh, sorry it is having this as the plane of symmetry so this has plane of symmetry and it is a meso compound okay let's look at this example where we have okay this is the fourth one so here we have clh and clh so how many plane of symmetry does it does, does this compound have I think two plane of symmetry. One is this plane. Um, sorry, let me draw it with another pen. One is this plane, and the other one is this plane. So, how is the second plane cutting the elements? So, you can imagine that these are three-dimensional spheres. All the different atoms. So, these three dimensional spheres will be cut by a horizontal plane, something like this, so that in the above part and the below part of the plane, it would be symmetrical. Why? Because these are sp2 hybridized carbon atoms, they will be 120 degree angle between all the groups, all the substituents attached to the double bond, they will be in the same horizontal plane, and this. Uh, uh, 
a horizontal plane will cut the atoms into two parts the above part and below part would be uh, symmetrical to each other so hence in this case cl the upper part and the cl lower part will be symmetrical to each other h upper part and h lower part would be symmetrical to each other similarly carbon and this carbon okay so number of pos in this compound is 2 it's a meso compound why why it's a meso compound so can we find any any chiral center in this compound no so it does not qualifies for meso compound so it's not a meso compound okay let's look at the fifth example in the fifth example we have this so how many actually so how many plane of symmetry it has it has only one plane of symmetry which is horizontal why not vertical this will not be the case because cl here and h is here similarly cl here and h is here so pos in this case would be one let's look at sixth example in which we have a benzene ring so how many pos is there in this compound let me redraw it with a bigger picture we have something like this so plane of symmetries would be one here two here three here four here fifth here sixth here and where is the seventh one seventh one is the horizontal plane it will cut the all the atom carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms into two parts uh, not the hydrogen atom hydrogen atoms yeah i think the hydrogen atoms as well because they are only in the they are also in the same plane so this horizontal plane will also cut all the atoms into two parts so total pos in benzene rings are seven let's look at the seventh example here cyclobutane ring with substituted hncl so how many plane of symmetry is there in this compound so the number of plane of symmetry in this compound is two by two one is this and another one is um, which is another one horizontal plane would not be a plane of symmetry yes so a z plane this is uh, let's say uh, this was the y plane uh, this, this, this is the y axis this is the x axis x axis would not be a plane of symmetry but uh, z axis would be a plane of symmetry why because in z axis uh, here cl and here cl would be mirror images okay so this is the z axis okay so cl here and cl here will be mirror images so total pos in this compound would be 2 pos means planes of symmetry let's look at this compound where we have so how many planes of symmetry are there in this compound 2 and why one is the horizontal plane which cuts the atoms into two parts because of sp3 hybridization of double bond dead carbon atoms and once one would be perpendicular plane let's look at this example how many planes of symmetry does this compound has so this has how many planes of symmetry does this compound have this has no place of symmetry it is a chiral compound and it is not a meso compound why it is not having any planes of symmetry it is not having any plane of symmetry because had it have a plane of symmetry something like this then oxygen atom would be present here because this is just one distance away from the carbon atom it should be the one distance away from this atom also but oxygen atom is uh, at the second position not at the first position hence this is not having any plane of symmetry 
okay so with this we come to the end of this lecture in the next lecture we'll be seeing some more examples on uh, planes of symmetry and meso compound okay so till then good luck and goodbye